guys welcome back to my channel so the other day I picked up a couple bits and I thought I would do a little haul for you just to show you all what I bought and um, if you're interested in seeing what I did get then carry on watching if you enjoyed the video and um, or if you have any questions on what I did buy any more further details that you would like to know then please leave a comment down below and if you do enjoy the video please comment like and subscribe so I've got a couple bits of makeup from Beauty Bay and I have a couple clothing items from Misguided. For those of you who don't know, Beauty Bay is basically an online website for the UK where you can buy so many different cosmetic brands, which some are American, so it's really helpful for if you're in the UK and you don't want to pay the shipping and custom fees, then this is perfect for you. So I definitely check out the website if you um, live in the UK and you have that problem. First of all, I bought three Jeffree Star lipsticks. So I bought this one, this pink one in the shade Massachist? Massachist? I don't know. Um, but I bought this pink one, I thought that was really nice. I bought this pink one, it's quite a fluorescent pink, it's very bright, it's brighter than what I thought it would be. But I actually really like it, I mean, I'll do a swatch for you on each one. So, as you can see, that's the pink. It is quite bright, but to be honest, I've got, I started collecting the Kylie Cosmetics lipsticks, um, lip kits. I got them from when she began, and I've always collected them, and... I bought a few of these a while ago and then I repurchased a few more and I've literally been obsessed ever since. I've grabbed a couple more as well so like I said I've bought another three. So this is the first one which is this bright pink. The second one is actually what I'm wearing now. This one is Posh Spice and um, it looks like this. This one's like a nudie kind of light brown shade. Personally, this is my favorite from him that I purchased so I far. I think it's so wearable. You can basically wear it with any outfit. It goes with anything. Um, it's a really nice nude. It's quite different. I haven't got one like this. I mean, I've got about, well, I've got about probably 10 nudes from Kylie Cosmetics and none of them look like this. He has quite original shades which I also like. I will swatch it on my hand as well because I have been wearing this makeup all day so it may not have the full effect. But that's what it looks like and I really like it. I think it's a really nice nude. The third lipstick that I bought. It was a risky choice and I'm not sure I made the right decision to be completely honest. It's really a nice shade for someone who's a bit braver. But on the website, I picked up Dirty Money. So on the website, it looks like a really nice kind of khaki green colour. But it's a bit lighter, so it doesn't look so like vibrant and bright. Whereas it come and it's a lot greener than what I thought. Like a lot greener than what I thought. I didn't want a green lipstick. But what, if you look on the picture online, it looks completely different to this. I'm not going to lie. So if you're not very brave with colours and you don't want to test a bright one out I wouldn't spend £16 on this one but to be honest I, I've seen a few people use um the Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks as eyeliner which I will try with this because I think that will look nice with like a khaki top or something I will probably use it in a couple looks on here to be honest um I will use it because I've bought it and so I'm gonna use it so I'll either wear it maybe on a night out if I'm feeling a bit adventurous or I will just use it on YouTube videos but either way I I do like it I'm just not brave enough to wear it out but this is the colour so as you can see it's a lot brighter than a kind of light khaki neutral colour <laughs> but I think this suits a lot of people I've seen so many pictures online and I'm just like oh, why can't I wear it like that but I just don't suit it so the next things I bought were Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipsticks so I've never I've never tried Gerard Cosmetics before so I thought I'd try them out I got three colours two are quite similar and one is quite bright so the first one I got was in the shade Ballet Slipper. I thought this was really cute pink. Um, swatch it here for you. There's some sort of deal um, on Beauty Bay at the moment where you can get these discounted if you buy three. So I bought three of them um, and I think I got them for like £7.70 instead of £11 each, something like that. I thought while the deal was there I was going to go ahead and try them. The formula is really nice actually, it's quite drying but it is really nice formula and I think it looks really nice on the lips. I got that one which is Ballet Slipper and then 
I got these two kind of purpley shades. This one's a little bit darker and this one's a bit lighter. So next is Gravity, which is this um, purple shade. One thing I do really like about these as well is the packaging. I think the gold is a really nice colour. But I'm just going to pop that on next to this one. So as you can see, that's quite a dark purple. It is darker than what I expected as well. But um, I actually really like it. I've worn it a couple of times already and I do really like wearing it. It's not as wearable for a full day as the Jeffree Star ones. I will admit, mainly probably because Jeffree Star ones are a little bit pricier anyway. But um, I wore this one to work for the full day and it didn't stay on as well as the Jeffree Star ones. I mean, I've worn this all day and the lipstick still looks fine. So, I mean, that's like really good. And even the Kylie Cosmetics ones, I struggle to keep them on for the full day without them, um, without like wear and tear basically. And the last one I picked up is Invasion, which is basically the same as this one, but a little bit of a lighter shade. This one's almost like a plummy kind of pink toned, rather than the other one being more of like a dark purple. So these ones are the Jeffree Star ones, and these are the Gerard Cosmetics ones. Um, a couple other things that I picked up. So everyone wears this. I have seen everyone on YouTube, everybody on Instagram, wearing the RCMA um, translucent no colour powder which is this. I had to grab it myself just to see what it was like and honestly I have not stopped wearing it since I bought it. This is really really good for setting your makeup under your eyes for baking and basically setting your foundation all together. I really really like this um, powder and I mean I, I have a NYX one and a LA Gal one and I have an e.l.f. one as well but none of them really compared to this one. This one really is worth the money. It's not even that pricey to be honest. Um, but it should it's definitely worth the money and I would definitely recommend getting it. The next thing I got was the Shan XO um, B and BH Cosmetics palette. So this one is quite cool actually. So it looks like this. So this is the eyeshadow palette. Um, excuse the state of it because I have literally used it to death since I bought it. The best shades for me is the burgundy and the orange shades. These are so pigmented. I will do a quick swatch on just these two for you. You can make an everyday look out of and every day you can change it up as well. So usually for like today I've used this palette and this palette only. So I use that one all over my lid and then I use that one as a transition shade. Then I use this one on my outer V and then I usually like dip into these two at the end just to um, finish it up a little bit and darken it up. Um, but this one's really nice and it's got some nice light shade and um, shimmer shades in it. So if you wanted to do kind of a nice neutral look that is also what you can do and if you turn it around now this is like so unique I think I think it looks well cool so this is the lip palette side um these are nine different colored lipsticks and they have quite a variety of colors as you can see more of the red pink and plummy shades um but these are actually really nice um I've only swatched them so I haven't actually tried them on my lips yet I doubt they're very last, long lasting, um, I don't want to judge it but I don't think they would be very long lasting. They feel more like um, kind of lip glosses, like lip balms, but um, I think these would be really nice on. The pigmentation is actually really nice when I tried them out, um, when I swatched them I thought the pigmentation was really good for a lipstick. And last one for Beauty Bay is these two face masks. So me and my boyfriend are going to do a video on these. Um, I, bu I bought them to test them out and then I thought, oh, we could do a video on it because it would be quite fun. So these are um, face masks. This one is their animal one. So they have like animal faces on them, um, which I thought would be quite fun as a video. So this one's a cat one because I'm obsessed with cats. And this one's a panda one for Josh. And um, this one is a blackberry flavor. And this one is colla collagen, collagen, collagen. I don't know what that means, but um yeah we're really excited to try these so look out for that video that should be coming soon but um they feel really nice actually inside they feel like they've got quite a lot of moisture on them so that will be exciting to try but yeah so we got these as well so going on to misguided like i said i only well i got three items one of them was a black vest top so no interest to you whatsoever plus it's in the wash and um, the f the other item i got was from misguided of course it's this oversized um, t-shirt dress it's got this kind of um comic kind of pattern on it i thought it was quite cool with just um a pair of black knee-high boots 
and I do I'm really into oversized t-shirts as dresses so I usually wear them with my over high over knee boots um or just a pair of sandals or something I have a load but they're all black or grey so I thought I'll go be a bit different get white with a bit of colour on it and the last thing I got which I thought would be really nice for like the summer season seeing as it's coming up to summer and um, I thought I'd get this this is not my usual colour that I would wear. I never ever have wore this colour or anything like it. But it actually looked really nice when I tried it on. So it looks like this. And it's got the cut out shoulders. And it's quite um, like flared sleeves. And it comes out like this. It's just really girly and summery and it's really nice with just a skirt and some sandals or boots and I really liked wearing it. It was really flowy and I also tied it up at the waist which looked really nice with a black skirt. But that is everything. I just wanted to show you all basically what I picked up over the past week or so. If you have any of these products let me know what you think of them. If you've tried any of the face masks or the Gerard cosmetic lipsticks or anything let me know what you think of it. If you've got the Shanexo and BH Cosmetics palette let me know what you think of them as well and just keep me updated at what you guys are getting as well from them. If you've got any of these products before or if you're not a fan of them let me know so I can kind of a bit of background on them as well and um, because obviously I've never used Gerald Cosmetics before so it'd be fun to see what you guys think of them as well if you have got any products from them but yeah that is everything that I have bought over the past week or so if you enjoyed this video please give it a like comment and subscribe and I shall see you in my next one